Howdy guys, it's Nintendo Capri Sun. Today is Sunday, April, or August 2nd, 2009, and we are in the graveyard at night. As you can see, at night there are Stalfos hanging about, and they'll attack you, like Stalfos normally would, right? So you can kill them if you want, but then they'll just respawn, and they're like there's like an endless supply of them. So you might ask, what are you supposed to do? Well, put on the captain's hat, and they'll think you're either captain. I mean, you can actually go so far as to speak to them. Huh? Oh, Captain, sir. Excuse me, sir. Everyone, give the Captain your attention. That's right, you tell that asshole. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain. As for your orders, we've been guarding these graves. Um, the war is over? Oh. Okay. Well, you can tell them to open the grave, since they're already guarding it. It doesn't really do any good to tell them to guard it again. And that's basically... They're already doing that, so there would be little to gain by it. So they open the grave, and then they jump inside. I'm not sure why they jump inside. There's really nothing... Um, you don't, like, see them down here or anything. So there's the entrance. And uh, on different days, they'll be guarding different graves. So, like, for instance, on the second day, you'll be over there. Because yeah, they'll open a different grave. But anyway, we're going to go this way. And holy crap, look at the bats in here. Well, this would be a good time to exercise your, uh, your spin attack, if I can get it to work. I don't know why, I'm so much better at the spin jump on Super Mario Sunshine than I am on this. So you kind of just, uh, you can use your shield to block them a little bit if you want. Um, or you can lock on and do whatever you gotta do. But, uh, it's much easier just to... Yep, well, well I, d I did it a couple times, but I'm sucking. Anyway, let's finish off the rest with arrows, if there are any more. That actually went more smoothly than I thought. So you can only imagine what I thought it was going to be like. Huh. And you get a purple rupee. My face is beaming. Yeah, indeed it is. So now we have to light the torches. And I'll be doing that now. Poosh. That's one. Number two is over here. And number three is behind the treasure chest. Damn it, treasure chest, get out of my way. How am I supposed to light the torches when you're in my way, treasure chest? Let's see what's in there. Nothing? Alright. So, what do we got here? Oh my god! Is that a iron knuckle? Yeah, I guess it is. Huh. So, just do what we did before in Ocarina of Time. Jump back, jump forward, and uh, just repeat the process. Oh, that's right. I have to lock on again. Huh. That was close. Oh, he blocked it. Uh-huh. Go ahead, hit me. Huh. Gotcha. So much for your thick-ass armor. It looks thick, but it didn't protect you very well. I guess my gilded sword was too much for you to handle. Oh, man, what do we got here? Some kind of tombstone and more blue ambiance. Are you the one who freed my soul? Oh wow, it's a ghost. It's actually, um, it's actually one of the Composer Brothers from Ocarina of Time. It is flat. Flat indeed. The strong is connected to the royal family. That we mean here, world composed by my brother and I. Oh, sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You who do not fear the dead, know why the strong is right behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. The war is over. No, the thousand years of raindrops summoned by my strong Matias, the thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made my request. Wow. Can you guess what song that is, then? Hmm, raindrops, thunder. Sounds a little familiar. Let's go have a closer look. Oh, that's, that's pretty close. So close, it's all blurry, and I can't read it. And even if it was sharp, I couldn't read that, either. Keep this song in your heart. There you go. There's no reason I should be messing that song up after all the times I played it in the previous game. Shoot. La da da da! Ha ha! Yeah, something I ate at that thing yesterday <clears throat> made me feel weird because when I woke up this morning, I was like, my nose was running. It was like so bad. 
Man, I know it's already running because of the humidity around here, but man, yesterday. I, mean, I feel better now, a little bit. I just, I don't know what happened. Anyway, so we're leaving now. It's got, it's, I couldn't even blow my nose. It was so swollen or something. Anyway, so that's pretty much all we can do now on the first night. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the second night and meet you right here. So I'll see you on the second night in the same place. Okay, I'm back. It's on the night of the second day. That was a weird okay, wasn't it? Anyway, you come here on the second day, they'll be dancing or guarding a different grave. So let's speak again to them. Huh? Oh, Captain, sir. Excuse me, sir. Everyone, give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain, sir. As per your order, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. What shall we do? Open the grave. Uh, open it? Yes, sir. What is this, an episode of Blue's Clues? The way that guy was talking. I mean, yeah, I made the voice for him, but still. That's no excuse for him to be talking like that. Yes, I'm eating a Jolly Rancher. I hope it's not too obvious. These things are so good. Plus, it seems to clear up my nose well when I do that, too. Cool, we get rupees in here. Oh, and we get to fall. Uh, okay, I jump in the pit, I fall from the ceiling. That makes a lot of sense. But I don't get to pick up my rupees now. That's no fair. So basically, I came down here for nothing. Well, it's not quite true. No, I don't want to... Oh, look at that, I got my bottle back. Huh. I guess warping... So warping back... If, if the birds steal something from you, you can warp back to the first day. Anyway, use the lens of truth here, and there's a secret passage. A secret passage! I can't do that like he does. I... Mm. Okay, so we got a bunch of invisible monsters here. You probably want to use your... No, put the mask back on. I don't think it matters that much if you wear the mask in here, but... No, take off your fire arrows, man. Don't want to be using that. Okay. Yeah, just take care of all the monsters around and the spiders here, you know. Don't need them to be giving us trouble. There's a bat over here, too. There. I believe that's all of it. There's one more bat. What the heck? I thought he was going to jump. Okay. Well, tell me the monsters don't respawn. Yeah, I guess they do. Well, that one did. Holy shit. I'll, they, yeah, they all did. Oh, what a waste of time. Yeah, so just, uh... Just keep looking around so you see them all. I don't know why I didn't jump there. But, okay. I guess you have to take the path. Like, the literal path along the ground. You know. Okay, whatever. Alright. So we come to a room here, a sort of T-shaped thing. To the right, there are pots. And to the left, there are pots. Well... Oh, thank God. I was going to say, if I don't have bombs, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> okay, so, put a bomb down. And there's a door. Wow. A door. I don't think I've ever seen a door before. That's just really cool. I mean, I always wanted, all my life I wanted to see a door. That was like my biggest ambition. I was told my parents when I grew up, they asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, I don't care, as long as I get to see a door. And there we go. My dream just came true now. Ah, oh, I didn't time that right. Hang on. No, you gotta wait for just the right attack. <laughs> there you go. And he's dead. Well, so much for that. Man, I did not think that two nights was gonna take a whole video, but sure enough, it has. Well, the third night is actually a lot longer than the first two anyway, so we'll probably have to put that in a separate video. Screw it. So what reward do we get this time? We get a piece of heart, and we've assembled a new heart container. I've also assembled a new lightsaber. No, wait, that's not what he says. He says, I see you constructed a new lightsaber. Shoot. Holy crap. We have monsters in here. Well. Yeah, these spiders are so much more annoying in this one. You know what, though? I'm probably going to just stop the video here and meet you out in the graveyard on the third night. So, uh... Yeah, if this video stops abruptly or something, then that's going to be why. Now let's just go here. Oh, look at there. He just knocked me in the pit. Yep, yeah, I'll see you in the graveyard on the third night. Good night, take care, thanks for watching, and goodbye.